hey you welcome back to my channel today something very different is about to happen and i say that every time but really truly something amazing is about to happen today i am getting my very first tattoo i didn't think it would be today i was like let me just go have a consultation because i finished uni early and when i was there had the consultation she's like it's so small we might as well do it today so I'm getting my tattoo today and I'm by myself. No one here to hold my hand. I'm so scared it's gonna hurt, but she said it hurt, shouldn't hurt too much, just the end of it, but you'll see. So just wanna quickly pop in and say, sorry that this video is so short and spontaneous. I almost didn't even bring my camera because I was just going for a consultation. Last minute I was like, I'm gonna go bring my camera. And I went back into the world and got my camera and my tripod. And then, yeah, so I'm lucky I even got this on camera. This was really spontaneous. I've wanted this tattoo for over two years. However, it wasn't until Thursday morning I was determined to find a tattoo studio in London that had black people in the gallery with tattoos so I could see what it would look like because, you know, try before you buy. <laughs> and then Thursday I found the place and Friday I was like, I'm gonna go get a consultation today. And here we are and if you stick around to the end of this video you'll find out the meaning behind my tattoo but anyway rant over let's go we have a stuck around to this amazing part so this is my tattoo on day two of healing it's i love it semicolon and then wings i love my tattoo there like they are so nice this lady was so nice her name's janine follow her on instagram it's janine the creator i'll pop in there she is so lovely and her artwork is amazing all of their artwork is amazing it's really great there i get socially awkward and i didn't feel awkward at all they had me talking through the tattoo which was crazy so my roommates did ask me this so i thought you guys might want to know um the bottom part didn't hurt at all it just i could just feel the um what's that thing called <laughs> i could just feel the needle like the tattoo going like the vibrations that's the word i could just feel the vibrations um there from about there down it stung and okay so not everyone has this bone but if you put your thumb and your pinky finger together and you do this yeah you do this i have a bone there not everyone does so doing uh, this part of the tattoo killed since it was right on a bone but surprisingly like the semicolon there and like this part of the wing didn't hurt as much as it did on that bone and then it hurt here as well so that was pretty amazing. <laughs> um, she actually started off at the part that hurt the most. So I was like, okay, this is what it's gonna be like. It's okay, I can still talk. <laughs> to the meaning of the tattoo. If you don't know, the semicolon 
is part of a semicolon project. The semicolon project is to bring awareness to mental health and suicide prevention and to try and break the stigma of people with mental health. And that's something so close to my heart, which is why I did a video on when the bow breaks. Go watch it here. And like, so that's when I woke up really determined because I had a dream the night before and I finally figured out the meaning of why I wanted to get the wings. And yes, it is very simple and I love it. <laughs> the reason why I got the tattoo in general is just because I wanted to acknowledge my past and my depression and I wanted to give it the respect it deserves because it's still a part of me. I deserve to have some respect, like I shouldn't be ashamed of it. Just because other people stigmatise people with mental health, I shouldn't be ashamed of that part of me. It's something I can't control and it is irrational sometimes, a lot of the times, <laughs> but you know, so I wanted to give it that respect and acknowledgement that it deserves and also I wanted to show people like, yes, I do suffer with a mental health illness and I'm not ashamed of it, so I don't want you to be ashamed of me and I don't want you to see me in a different light than how you've seen me to this point. When I woke up Thursday morning, it was the happiest I have felt in about six months since I stopped talking to my best friend. But this, like, when I woke up from that dream, that was, like, the happiest I'd felt since then because I felt free. I don't have to explain it. It wasn't free from her. It was free from the way I was feeling because, you know, when, when something big happens, you're, you're expected to feel, like, really happy and excited. And I'm not gonna lie, I have felt happy to be at university and very privileged and very blessed. But there was just always this something, this underlining feeling of, I don't know what, like kind of like nervousness maybe, I don't know what it was, but I just kind of felt like an underlining numbness. And I woke up that morning and I felt the happiest and most excited and most like, I can't wait to see what's gonna happen in so long. In the dream I was getting the tattoo and the wings were getting tattooed onto my arm and like, it felt like I was being set free, which sounds really cheesy. But that's just how I felt. I don't know how to explain. Like I felt free from this burden that I was that I didn't even realise I was carrying, that I was feeling all this time. I wasn't feeling as excited as I am now for the course. So it's kind of cheesy and it's kind of like weird, but that's just me. <laughs> and that's why I got my tattoo. And that's what it means to me. It means acknowledging my past, giving it the respect it deserves, but also not letting it hold me back or keep me captive. And it's also a sign for anyone out there who knows about the Semicolon Project that I'm with you and our story isn't over yet. In the meantime, keep on being you. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment down below with any questions or suggestions, and don't forget to subscribe to get weekly updates. Bye, y'all.